Big stuff is coming to multiverses. Many highly requested things and things that are also very welcome. During EVO Top 8 yesterday, Tony made an announcement showing us a graphic of the roadmap to follow for Season 1 and what will be coming along with it and what to expect. Hit that like button, let's get this video to over 5,000 likes to celebrate the soon start of Multiverses Season 1. And also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any more updates. Only 7% of you guys who watch and love these videos are currently subbed. Let's raise that number even higher as we climb closer to 100,000 subscribers, guys. I believe in you all as we are the greatest community on YouTube, hands down. Also, follow us on Twitch. We go live on both YouTube and Twitch. And with that being said, let's get into the video. We already know Rick and Morty are dropping in Season 1. Originally, Season 1 was starting on Tuesday, August 9th, and Morty was supposed to release on that day too. However, due to unfortunate circumstances, they had to delay the first season to a later date, possibly August 16th, one week later. This is just speculation, of course, based on the fact that they said that they are extending the preseason battle pass to August 15th, which gives a lot of you guys plenty of time to work on completing those challenges and getting yourselves up there. But I think that we could see August 16th as the official start to Season 1 since the day before the preseason is technically ending. The bottom text underneath Rick and Morty says that more characters are expected to come, which signals that over the course of Season 1, we're getting more characters besides just them. And hopefully, many of them are surprises. In Season 1, we're getting new cosmetics, starting with the icons. We are getting a Batman icon, Rick and Morty themed one as well, and a Nymeria Stark icon which looks badass. This is Arya's direwolf in the TV show Game of Thrones. But also, of course, we're going to be getting much more than that. This is just what they chose to highlight to us. We're not just going to get three new icons. In addition to that, we got some new banners as well coming, and this might be a Steven Universe reference? I'm pretty unsure, I haven't watched the show, but it's hella giving Master Hand vibes from Final Destination in Smash Bros. <laughs> Am I the only one seeing that, by the way? Space and a giant hand. Skin variants, which leaked before, are being shown now. Multiverses' very own Twitch browser extension previously showed us that LeBron's Robin skin is coming. And this new Bugs Bunny skin is hella dope too. Up top, we can see a classic arcade mode is coming. Shoutouts to Multiverses Susie on Twitter for the following updates on arcade. Arcade will feature an easy, medium, and hard mode. We heard it will also be co-op from Tony himself. But inside of arcade, they will have the Rivals vs. gimmick from Smash Bros, where you battle a rival from that character that you're playing as series. There will be up to 10 stages, and they will have continues and retries, which is awesome to hear. And also, side note, if you look at Tom and Jerry, they're wearing the cowboy skin from that epic episode where Tom is just a freaking badass. <laughs> but this skin was in the alpha previously. Arcade mode is great for players who don't like to go online all the time. It sounds like a fun mode to cool down with or play with viewers on stream, which is what I'll be doing most likely. Hopefully they pack exclusive items into Arcade to create an incentive to do it on different difficulties and also to do it with different characters, please. And finally, the best part about this announcement, Ranked Mode. Ranked Mode does not have any specific details and we've seen Tony mention that he can't share details about Ranked just yet, besides the fact that they are actively working on it. <laughs> I hope and I'm sure it will force opponents to continue the rank sets and if they rage quit or force leave the game, it will penalize them for it. Which is great because there are those people who don't like to rematch online right now and to all y'all who do that, I hope you stub your toe on a metal Lego. I also do hope that rank will feature specific stages and remove some of them that are stupid looking at you Scooby's Mansion. And please, please let there be a 1v1 ranked and a 2v2 rank separate. I believe this will be the case because when you look at the leaderboards, there are rankings already for each individual game mode. And when you look at individual character ranks in collection, there are individual ranks there too for each game mode as well for your respective characters. So this is great to see. We can expect the rank mode to be a traditional bronze, silver, gold, platinum, etc. With the highest rank being something unique towards the series, which would be awesome. Maybe multiverses champion or something of the sort. Comment below what do you guys think the highest rank will be called? Overall, Season 1 is looking great, and I cannot wait to see what other characters will be coming our way to enjoy. What new characters are you guys hoping to see also come along in Season 1? We know that Gandalf was one of the first leaked, and a new Lord of the Rings show is starting in September, so we just might be having something special coming our way. Rick and Morty's new Season 6 starts in September too, so their release date timing in August is definitely something to monitor going forward when it comes to other characters who might be releasing to promote other shows. Like I told you guys, these platform fighting games and bringing in guest characters are almost 100% always a promotional piece that devs are manipulating to their advantage. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments below. 
Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More multiverses news, tips, and guides are on the way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.